Tonight, 1.1 billion. That's how many people in China have been infected with COVID in less than two months. Now, officials claim that 60,000 people have died since the restrictions were lifted, but independent estimates say that that number is closer to a million dead people from COVID. President Xi Jinping admitting China's surge has been fierce, but retaliation against those who dare speak out against his COVID policies remains in full force. Selena Wang with a chilling report about one of the protesters who is missing tonight. It's a report you'll see first out front. If you're seeing this video, that means I've already been taken by the police. These are the chilling words of a young woman in China who took part in this demonstration in Beijing on November 27th. It was one of dozens of anti-zero COVID protests that erupted in cities across China. They're chanting that they don't want COVID tests, they want freedom. Police lined the streets, but the mood was calm and peaceful. Many were there to mourn the lives lost in China's Arimchi city, where a deadly fire broke out in a lockdown building. This 26-year-old woman, an editor at a publishing house, said that is why she and her friends took to the streets. She said they followed the rules and didn't have any conflict with the police. Soon after filming this, she was arrested. She knew her time was nearing. CNN has learned from sources that weeks after the protest, police started rounding up her friends one by one, most of them also young female professionals. We tracked down and interviewed one of her friends who's been tirelessly searching for her. We're not revealing her name or any of the sources we've spoken to because of concerns of retribution from the Chinese state. Authorities want to intimidate ordinary people, she said. They want to turn people into emotionless machines. We can't even gather together to grieve. Police swiftly cracked down on the protesters, in some cities violently pushing and dragging the demonstrators. But the Beijing protesters peacefully dispersed. Afterwards, police blanketed protest sites. In some places, authorities check cell phones for virtual private networks and track down participants with cell phone data. Soon after, China dropped its zero COVID policy and opened up. In his New Year's Eve address, Chinese leader Xi Jinping said it was, quote, only natural for different people to have different concerns or hold different views on the same issue. But behind the scenes, their loved ones say the retribution continues. She's paying a heavy price. We were born into this land, so naturally we would want to make China better. But now I feel there's nothing that we can do, she says, breaking down into tears. Authorities have made no official comment about the detentions and will likely never know how many people have been detained in connection with the protests, if it's dozens, hundreds or more. As people across China are celebrating the Lunar New Year with their newfound freedom, the young woman says the mothers of her and her friends want to know why their daughters were taken from them. In her final words in the video message, she made this call for help. Don't let us be taken away or convicted arbitrarily. Don't let us disappear from this world unjustly. And Aaron, we've learned that the young woman you saw there is one of eight friends who've been quietly detained after the protests. We've reached out to Beijing authorities multiple times for comment on the detentions. They have not responded. Now, the people who know these young women told us that they're confused as to why they were taken, describing them as young women working in publishing journalism, saying they're socially minded, but they are not organizers. Experts say the police may have been suspicious of young, politically aware women. Authorities here also have a well-documented history of targeting feminists. At least one of the women detained said she was interrogated about whether she was involved in feminist groups. Erin. Incredible. Selena, thank you very much.